Welcome back. In this video, you will learn how you can add tasks in TikTok application on a recurring basis automatically. Guys, TikTok is a task management tool by which you can manage your daily task and to do lists. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add tasks in TikTok on a recurring basis, for example, daily or weekly or monthly automatically so that you can save your time and never forget to complete any task. So we are going to set up this automation without any coding. Let's begin. To set up the workflow, we are using Pavli Connect, which is an integration tool. And this is the landing page of Pavli Connect. And you can find this link in the description. From here, you can sign up for free and you can get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. So sign up right now from the given link and after that sign in and reach the dashboard of Pavli Connect, which is here. From here, guys, you have to click on this create workflow button. Then here you can provide a name to this workflow. After that, click on create button and your workflow page will load up. All right, so I have given this name. Now click on create button and your workflow page will load up like this. And here you will find these two modules, the trigger and the action. So guys, these are the basic building blocks of this automation. Trigger is going to start the workflow and the action would be an automated response or the consequence of the trigger. In this use case, guys, we are going to schedule the running of this workflow. And I want this workflow to run every day and create a task in TickTick. So here I'm going to use schedule by Pavli feature of Pavli Connect. With the help of schedule by Pavli, you can schedule the running of your workflows at regular intervals, at once, every day, any day of the week or any date of the month in the future. Okay, so I'm selecting every day option. Here, let me select a suitable time. I'm selecting 12. Uh, let's say. So I'm choosing 12 here and clicking on save. You can see now this workflow is scheduled to run at this time. All right now, guys, uh, when what I want to do here, I want that this workflow should run and create and create a task in tick tick. And we have the task details here in this spreadsheet in Google Sheets application. So here is here are two things I am adding here in the spreadsheets. That is the name of the candidates who are applying to our company. Okay, I'm take I have taken this example, you can use this workflow for various other purposes as well. Here I am using the example that many people have applied in my company and here I have stored the details of the people of the candidates like the name of the candidates and their resumes links. Okay, so this resume link is the link of my WordPress website. Okay, right now guys, I want that this workflow take this data and from this data create a task in tick tick. So to get this data, you need to connect Google Sheets here. Use the action event here as get rows. Then click on connect button. From here, select add new connection. Then click on sign in with Google. Okay, and from this window, you have to choose your Google account. Here is my Google account. Okay, so you have to choose that Google account by which you have created the spreadsheet. Then you have to click on continue and provide some additional access to your account. And you can see the authorization is successful. All right, and we are connected and here it will show you this select spreadsheet option from here. You have to select your spreadsheet and the name of my spreadsheet is this job applicants. So I have selected it here. Then it will ask for the sheets names. So the sheets name is sheet one. It is auto populated and then it will ask for the range from where you want to get the data. So guys to find the range, you just have to select this row and here you can see in the name box when I have selected this row like this. It started showing A2 colon B2. This means we have the data starting from column A and, and column A row number two and it is ending at column B row number two. Okay, this was the range. So you can select the range and paste it here. Okay, so this is the data. This is the range for one first row only for only one row. If you have many rows, what you can do, you can just select the whole data and get the last row number. But if you do not know how many rows you have or your spreadsheet is a dynamic spreadsheet, you are adding and subtracting the data. 
so you can just erase this row number from the column number okay from the end column number and just keep the range as it is a2 colon b this means we have the data starting from column number a row number 2 and it is ending at column number b but we do not know at which row it is going to end so we didn't specify the row number here now guys click on save and send test request button and you will get the data in the response from your spreadsheet all right so here you can see we got this data it has started showing the name and here is the link of the resume okay now guys with the help of this data uh, first of all click here on this plus icon and from this data we are going to create a task in tick tick so select tick tick here in this new action step and select the action event as create a task then click on connect button from here select a new connection then click on connect with tick tick okay so it will bring you to the login window if you're not logged in i have already logged in in tick tick so it is just asking me to provide the access to your tick tick account so just click on allow here and you will be connected with tick tick all right and here you can see you started asking for the project's id so to find the project id you need to open the project in tick tick application and you will get the browser url of that project and you will get the id here like this in between this between these two slashes okay let me show you that this is my tick tick application okay and here i have opened my inbox and when i open the inbox you can see the browser url of the inbox and here you can see after this hashtag p slash and slash tasks this is the project id so just copy it and paste it here okay here it is asking for the task title so i'm going to put the task title as schedule an interview with all right guys so i have the details of the candidates who have applied here and with the help of tech tech we have want to create a task of a interview that we want to schedule with the candidate okay so here i have uh, given the task title you can see schedule an interview with and with the help of this data that we have received here in the first step from in the second step I am going to map this name label in the same task title okay after with just click here and from the second step map the result zero name label and here you can see now the title is going to look like schedule an enter with interview with demo name so demo name of the name of the person whose data we had here in our spreadsheet in the content i am going to map the link of the resume we have received first of all i am going to type resume link okay and i am going to map the link from the second step here is the link okay right so this will be the content of my task here to provide a start date you can just generate a start date to pro to provide a date on which we want to uh, start this task so what i'm going to do to put a start date here just click here in the plus icon before this tick tick step okay and here search for date time formatter feature of pavli connect here guys date uh, in this date time formatter action event use current date option so what current date will do it is going to give you the date on which the workflow is running okay so click on connect button and here it is asking for the format to select so i'm going to select this format that i have uh, that is given in this example okay yyy mmdd and a t in between the hours minutes and seconds this is the format you have to use and you will find the format here like this okay then click on save and send test request button and you will get this date time label now you can map it here in the start date field okay so when i'm clicking here the previous steps are not appearing now because I have added this step after this step. I have added third step after the fourth step, okay, in between. So you have to create the workflow sequentially. This means now you have to refresh the connection with TickTick. -tick. So click on connected one more time. And from here, keep this existing connection option selected and click on save again. And the connection will be refreshed, okay. Now when you click on the start date field, the previous steps will appear. And from this last step map this date time label okay if it is an all day event you can make it true i'm making it false okay the priority you can set here as medium or low or high 
Now guys, you can click on save and send test request button to check your connection with TikTok. So this is my TikTok applications inbox. Uh, and here you can see these are the uh, tasks we have. Let us click on save and send test request button and see if we got a new task added. All right, so this is the response I got. Let me show you TikTok. And here you can see we have received a new task with the yellow label. This means medium priority. And here the title is schedule an interview with demo name. And here when you click on it, you can see the flag priority, the resume is link as well. Okay, so this is how it is going to work, guys. So we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up it only once. After that, you do not have to do anything manually in the workflow. It will work automatically on daily basis and add task and tick tick. So you can use this workflow for any other purpose as well. I have just taken one example and I'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description so that you can clone this workflow in your own free Pabli Connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, if you want to connect with our support team, you can email us at support at the rate you can ask and discuss your queries on our forum via this link and you can check the pricing plans of Pabli Connect via pabli.com slash connect hashtag pricing. And guys, if you like our videos, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much.